How's it going guys? Cody guys back again dropping another video. Right guys, you can see from the title of the video, the subsequent headline and the picture, uh, this is a story from yesterday uh, about an incident that took place at Her Majesty's Young Offenders Institute, uh, Aylesbury, down in Buckinghamshire. Uh, according to the Wikipedia page, it houses 444 prisoners aged 18 to 21. Uh, in 2013, Her Majesty's Young Offenders Institute, uh, Aylesbury, appeared on ITV focusing on the lives of inmates and prison officers. Uh, if you go on YouTube, as you guys are obviously now, uh, if you type in H um, YOY, Young Offenders Institute, Aylesbury, you'll see it come up and stuff, and you can watch it at your own leisure, guys. Um, I'll put a link in the description below of the story that I'm going to read you out the points of now. Um, and we'll go from there. Right, guys. Yesterday, inmates threw paint, smashed fire alarms during a disturbance at Her Majesty's Young Offenders Institute, Aylesbury. The prison service said four prison officers suffered minor injuries in the trouble which took place on Sunday, yesterday, the 15th of April. Uh, inmates trashed the wing over a lack of showers and association. <clears throat> now, I, I, I keep up to date with obviously what goes on within prisons and stuff, guys. Um, and I've heard about the regime. For those that don't know, regime means how the prison runs, how the wing runs. Sometimes one one wing will differ to the next wing. Sometimes all the wings are the same. Depends what prison you're in and what regime you're running. All it means is what time you get out for association, for your exercise, for your meals, um, work, things like that, guys. Right. Um, so yeah, inmates trashed um, E wing, which is a wing within the prison, houses over seventy inmates. Um, prisoners have grown, um, according to media report and stuff. Um, prisoners have, have grown more and more angry and frustrated have been locked behind the doors uh, for longer periods of time due to staffing levels within the prison right so let's jump into it guys so the prison service said offenders who behave in this way will be punished and may face extra time behind prison bars right now that means that you get what you anyone that's been involved in this incident they'll be arrested it's called an adjudication right? a nicking um and they'll get dealt with that way they can plead guilty they can plead not guilty um and it, so it goes on that way but you can get further time added to your sentence normally what they do with prisoners that are trouble like this they, they send them to dispersal and get rid of them and move past the book on so to speak uh, a woman whose partner is an inmate told the bbc some of the lads had leapt onto the safety netting and refused to come down now for those that don't know safety netting it's not actually netting um, it's like steel netting uh, and it's normally between the landings so that people can't throw themselves off and, and suicide and stuff. Um, the source said her partner was not involved and went back to his cell. Another prisoner sent picture of the disturbance from a banned mobile phone. There's a new regime that the lady went on to say there's a new regime and they aren't allowed any association during a week. Just imagine that guys, right? No association. For those that don't know, right? The times you get out of your cell can be go to education, to go to work, to go for your food, um, to go for exercise or association. Exercise, you go out on the yard, you walk around in normally counterclockwise, um, just counterclockwise walking around in circle. Get about 45 minutes to an hour. In my experience, guys, it might be different uh, for you guys that have been in prison or not been in prison. Um, and then association, that means where you're unlocked, you're able to go and get a shower, play pool, go into your friend's cell, they can come into your cell, you can play, you can gamble, you can play cards, dominoes, just you time out yourself to socialise. We're social people, guys, we're social creatures. Um, and like I say, when you've been lock, locked up, some people are spending 22, 23 hours a day locked up, depending on what prison they're in, what regime they're running. I've been in a harsh regime prison, like strange ways, 22, 23 hour bang up. I've also been in Cat B, Forest Bank, Sodexo Ran, private prison, which I got loads of association, up to six weeks, uh, six hours a, uh, on a Saturday and a Sunday. Um, yeah, so they can have a shower and exercise, but they've been locked up all week. They can only have, they've only had one shower on Monday and nothing since, guys. Right now, a lot of people in prison like to keep their admin about them, admin meaning like keeping clean and stuff like that. Um, the, the the weather's starting to improve now. And like I say, being locked behind the doors for that amount of time, you're going to sweat and stuff like that. Um, you're going to start to smell. Uh, and up, according to this female uh, wife or girlfriend of one of the prisoners, um, 
they've only literally so they can only they only get out for a shower and exercise then they've been locked up all week they've only had one shower on monday and nothing since apparently their regime they're locked up monday to friday and then friday to sunday they're allowed to get out for association and stuff but again due to staffing levels guys cause major major problems um 18, 19, 20, 21 year old, right? You can imagine how boisterous they are, how much energy they've got to burn. And locking people up like that, um, they're gonna become angry, they're gonna become frustrated. If they've not got a phone in the cell, they're not able to get out and get on the phone to ring their loved ones, uh, to ring their girlfriends, their wives, whatever. Do you know what I mean? Family, you could have an ill family member. Um, she said here, she went on to say, on Saturday, they weren't allowed weekend association. So even on the Saturday, they were told they weren't getting an association where they can play pool, etc. This morning, they were allowed another shower. This is yesterday, so Sunday. They were told they were allowed another shower, but then they were told they were going to be locked straight back up with no explanation. Lots of them refused to go back to the cells, right? So they've got out on the Sunday thinking they're having an association. They've been told you can have a shower and only a shower, and then you're going back behind your door. Again, staffing levels are at the prison are obviously in crisis um, where they don't have enough prison officers to safely, safely um, look after and control the prisoners. Um, the lads have had enough of this. They've jumped on the netting within the prison and they've refused to bang up. A load of them have got together and said, you know what, we're not going back behind our doors. Um, it caused problems and this is where the prisoners have gone on the rampage. Uh, the inmates then trashed the wing, the saw said, adding they've been throwing pain, smashing fire alarms and breaking CCTV cameras. Uh, E-Wing houses more than 70 young men aged 18 to 21, uh, according to this female. A, a, a prison service spokesperson said prison staff at Her Majesty's Young Offenders Institute, Aylesbury, that's a mouthful, um, have successfully resolved a brief period of indiscipline involving a small number of offenders on one wing. Obviously, we know we know that to be E-Wing. They said the trouble was confined to one area of the prison and the rest of the site remained secure. Four prison officers were taken to hospital with minor injuries and have since returned to duty. Last July, seven prison officers and one prisoner were injured in a brawl at the prison. In November 2017, the Independent Monitoring Board, or the IMB, who go round and check prisons alongside a Majesty Inspector at prisons and stuff, uh, blame the serious understaffing for an increase in violence at the prison. Now, guys, we're social people, we're social creatures, right? It's not the prisoner's fault there's not enough staff. To be honest, it's not even the prison officer's fault. It's down to, obviously, budgets and stuff like that. And the government, austerity is everywhere, and it's in prisons, massively so. It's had a double impact on, uh, on prisons and stuff. Uh, and like I say, what it leads to is long sustained periods behind your door. For me, Reggie, we need more prison officers. Um, the Ministry of Justice keeps spinning this line. We are actively recruiting 2,500 officers. That's all fine and dandy. They've lost over 7,000 uh, prison officers in the last few years. Uh, like I say, staff retention is a huge problem. Now, prison it's not prisoners' fault that, 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 that there's not enough prison officers. They're not in charge of the budget. They just want to be out to, to, to go and play on the, like, to, to play pool, to get showers. Imagine, just imagine that, guys, right? You can't even go and get a shower. You can't get on the phone to ring your loved one, right? You're going to become, you're going to grow more and more agitated, angry and frustrated, right? And like I say, the regime there, they've not really got a regime, have they, really? They're supposed to, according to this, this, this prisoner's girlfriend, they're not allowed that they're not allowed out for association monday to friday apparently they was allowed out on monday uh, on the sunday for a shower the the last shower they had was last monday six days without a shower guys right it's not it's not conducive to a productive regime right and like i say <clears throat> prisoners are gonna fight back you've got the smoking ban which is that sang of prisoners as well that's rattling the cage yeah like I say, prisoners that were social people, were social creatures, 18 to 21 year old, right, are going to be full of energy. They're going to have a lot of energy to burn. They're going to want to get out of the cell, mix with their friends, do a bit of business and stuff. Because obviously everyone's like pe people selling spice and stuff like that. Um, it, it just, it, it, it's not conducive. Prisoners have got to, like, they're not going to, they'll take it for so long. And then they're going to lash out and they're going to fight back. They're going to refuse to bang up. 
And the thing is, right, the attack prison officers, right? Now, we can't get at the system. The system's what we're angry at. So what do we do? We attack the uniform, the uniform that the prison officers wear. It's run by HMP, right? I've got nothing good to say about Her Majesty's prison staff at all. Um, they swap the personality for a set of keys, in my opinion. But what do they honestly expect? If you treat people like animals, they're going to act like animals, right? And like I say, the weather's starting to come warm now and stuff. Not even being allowed out for a shower. That, that, is, that is a breach of the prisoner's human rights. What I would be doing in that situation, um, I, I, I'm saying to you, I jumped straight on the phone. If you're going to, you, you can't jump on the prison phone unless you've got a mobile, right? You can't even jump on the prison phone to get all your, your solicitor to pull a judicial review of the prison. That's what I would be doing. If I was a loved one of that prisoner, I would be on the phone um, to the to the legal team stating, look, this is a breach of the prisoner's human rights. Pull judicial reviews of the prison. The more prisoners that put in for it, uh, the, the more chance they have where action will be taken to rectify the problem. But again, can they, can they sort out staffing problems? Like I say, I, I feel a great deal uh, for prisoners and stuff. Prisoners should be a place of reform, education, skills and training, reintegration and resettlement. Um, every prisoner that works within the prison should receive minimum wage. Um, and it goes on that way, guys. But yeah, what I do, I write, I, what I do, guys, so you know how I work with these stories and stuff, right? Um, I read the story. I then write down uh, facts, statistics, quotes and stuff from the said people that are involved in the incident or the prisoner's girlfriend as it was uh, and then i can then relay that information to you some of you might have seen it some of you might have not um but like i say guys the, a regime like that and then on the weekend they've been told they're not even allowed uh, association on weekend so literally they're getting out going on exercise going back behind the door and then they're getting what two showers a week ne one shower a week nearly absolutely ridiculous guys breach of the prisoners human rights uh, absolutely wrong on every level um, and HMP uh, Her Majesty's Young Offenders Institute Aylesbury um, has obviously had problems they had problems last July when that incident took place where seven prison officers and a prisoner needed uh, medical attention due to a brawl and stuff the IMB uh, the Independent Monitoring Board as Dave stated staffing levels are behind the increase in violence and stuff people ask me guys people often ask me why are prisoners not rioting up and down the country? Very hard to riot when you're locked behind your door 22, 23 hours a day. Even longer in these lads. These lads have been locked up 23 hours a day. They're getting out for exercise. They might get half an hour, 45 minutes on the yard. Then they're back behind the door, right? Then the, it comes to weekend and like, right, you get an association from Friday to Sunday. And then on Saturday, they're told, no, you're not having an association. On Sunday, they're told, right, you, we're letting you out, but you can only go out for a shower. So the lads have said, yeah, yeah, got out and then refused to bang up and then smashed the wings to smithereens. It, it's frustration, it's anger. The, the, the prisoners don't want to smash the wings up. But the fact is, at what point do you think, well, if you take it, you're going to have to just take it anyway, right? And if you stand up for it, you, you, you at least you stand a chance, guys. You know what I mean? They, they, they've got out, they've caused mischief, it's got into the media, it's embarrassed the Ministry of Justice and the prison service. Again, all you see, guys, when it comes to prisons are embarrassment, failings, people... Um, I, I read about two sex offenders last week that escaped from a prison, uh, from Leo Prison. Um, it's just failure after failure after failure. The Ministry of Justice are failing prisoners, prisoners' families, and prison officers alike, guys. On that note, guys, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can read it at your own leisure. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Bye.